Hi, my name is Casey Wortham. I am a second year MFA grad and I am playing the role of Raylan in Blood at the Root. Hi, my name is Amon Downer. I am a junior in the BFA acting program here at UConn and I am playing the role of Justin. Hi, my name is Elizabeth McManus. I am a junior acting student here at UConn and in this production of Blood at the Root, I will be playing Toria. Is being able to play the role of Raylan. <laughs> I'm just so inspired by her because she is so bold and strong and independent and wanting to fight back and she doesn't stand down you know for any kind of injustice just like her mother her mother would find injustice in everything and you know wasn't apathetic always chose to participate and i think that's inspiring especially as a black woman and i think people who come see the show no matter what you look like you'll be i i feel as though you will be inspired to want to fight back for something that you're passionate about. It's all about being passionate about something and choosing to retaliate or choosing not to participate. And not participating is also participation. So I'm, I'm just so excited to be able to put myself in the shoes of Raylan. I feel like we have similar characteristics because I'm also independent and I also fight for what I believe in and you know I, I don't stand down and I'm very confident in being an artivist. So I'm I'm just so excited to and honored to be able to fill those shoes with Raylan. Possibly our playlist. I think we have like a really good track playlist that kind of goes well together with the subject of the play, with the emotions that are felt during the play. Just the overall, it, I think our music done by our sound director, Jake Neighbors, really does encapsulate like what it feels to be a black body going through like a tough situations and also like staying true to who you are. Blood at the Root is about the Gina Six, which is six teenage students from Gina, Louisiana, who were tried as an adult and convicted of conspiracy att attempted murder and aggravated battery for getting in a fight with a white student on school grounds. There is a tree called Old Devoted that the main character, Raylan, sits under one day at school and then two other black students follow her and they sit under the tree. And the next day, their noose is hanging from the same tree done by white students. And the play follows the aftermath of that and, and depicts how one big thing can divulge into so many more injustices if we let them. I think it's important that people see Blood at the Root because of the fact that this is based off of a true story. This is something that's actually happened. And I feel like a lot of people, one, don't know about it, and two, don't really understand how this still happens. Stuff like this still happens on a daily basis. So I think that seeing this play will hopefully remind people that injustices are still going on every single day. People are still being treated unfairly. People are still not receiving the proper rights that they deserve. I think one of the most striking things about Blood at the Root is even though it's not set in present day, it's about events that happened around 2006, 2007, so the mid 2000s, it is still so, so timely. And Dominique does an amazing job in her writing of making her plays applicable to really any time because all of the characters that she creates are just so, so human that it's incredible to see no matter what time period you're seeing it in, so. Make sure you go and see Blood at the Root. It's going to be an amazing show, super inspiring. And uh, see, my, my Raylan accent is already coming in, y'all. Go see the show if you want to see me talk in a Southern accent the whole time. Just go see the show. It's going to be great. All who come will be inspired and motivated and driven to see these six students go through a journey of figuring out who they are and choosing choosing how they're going to stand. Come see Blood at the Root. Tickets are on sale now. You do not want to miss it.